everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This video is the conversation with John Pfizer, 48-7, Deputy Fitzpatrick's boss. There will be another video with Sheriff Rob Rotter posted soon. This conversation is part of the previous video titled Fourth Amendment Violation. Although John is more respectful, he still does not know the law. Um, concept. So, I was driving today, you know, down the road, got, got some milk. You come over here, and you can clearly see... Okay. You shine your light, you can see why the car is here. You see? So... Immediately, as your deputy over here uh, pulled me over, he all of a sudden wanted my insurance and he wanted my ID. And I, I was calm, I was polite, I was respectful, and he cussed at me. He said the word, something about fucking somewhere or another. You know, I was calm, polite, and respectful, and so he when cussed we at me. You body cam, you didn't cuss at him. No. As soon as he asked if you hit something, you didn't say something about. Uh, I asked him, do you see any body damage? Okay. That's what I asked him. He was rude to me, he was disrespectful, and, and I told him politely, calmly, and respectfully, unless I have committed a crime, I know what my rights are and I don't have to identify. And I asked him, do you think I've committed a crime here? And he tried saying this is a crime. Well, your car stopped in the middle of the road. Well, I understand, but that's So, like I mean, the, due to the fact that your car is in the middle of the road blocking the lane of traffic, he does have a right to identify you as the driver of this vehicle. But it's not a, well, here, here, here's the thing. He told me he's gonna detain me if, if I don't, give my ID okay and you know it's not a crime for a car to break down it literally no. happens every single day also if it, is this front wheel or rear wheel I don't see the, the the relevance okay see you're just getting confrontational with a simple question so that that tells me right there you're just looking for confrontation do, do you think I wanted this to happen no do you think I planned this? that has nothing to do with what we you're just talking about it's front wheel drive I'm a mechanic, okay. and I know enough to know okay. that if I drive on this, that's, I was just, that's all I was curious about. So if it was rear wheel drive, you might be able just to push it over a little bit further. I, that was just simple questions, yep. nothing to get okay, upset well, about. Okay. I, so I'm, I, I, I'm an easygoing yeah. guy. Are you I a mechanic? Just, no. Okay, so with the rear view no. drive, when your rear wheel is pushed, just, just the through. same problem is that when you push that car, yep. It's going to take whatever is in the suspension and it's going to it just up. bind it up and it's going to kill your tire, it's going to kill your wheel, and actually it could fall all the way to the ground. Like whether okay. it's front wheel yeah. drive, and that's why I took that. Okay. I'm sorry if I came off like that. Okay. As a mechanic, yeah, I know no, whether I, it's front wheel or rear wheel. I, and I don't know. Just, yeah. I mean, you know more than I do as far as mechanical stuff. I mean, if there stuff, was a way I, to fix this right here yeah. and get it going, no, I would. I know. But, uh, and I, I'm aware of that. But yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll forward your concerns to the sheriff, and uh, like you said, he's got a body camera that's operating. We, I mean, it's yeah, pretty, but I'll, sta and I'll, I'll pretty be, standard and I'll procedure. I'll be making a FOIA request okay. for that body cam, okay. and I'll uh, be getting it. On Monday, just uh, requested it at the sheriff's office, okay, and uh, uh, they should get it. They should be able to get you taken care of, okay? I mean, I just don't understand how this is a crime. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, we the only reason we're even here was initially it was it was reported as being on the tracks. And it's a you know traffic hazard. And that, that's the thing, like you can clearly see it's not. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I, I, it's it's obviously not. That's why we canceled our tow truck because I initially sent, had to send a tow truck. So I was like, well, if it's reported on the railroad tracks, we got to get it moved yeah. because there's trains. But, but you know, I, I'm a real big you know with all respect to authority. You yeah. know, we live in America. Yeah. There is a constitution, mm -hmm. and I have you know just even the fact that he asked for my insurance card. You don't ask for somebody's insurance card when they're parked. All yeah. you can do is write that guy a parking ticket. Okay. You know, I don't need to give insurance card. And the fact that he threatened to detain me for failing to get my ID, that's unconstitutional. Okay. I don't need the ID because, I mean, if it was something well, if like... he wanted to give you a parking ticket, he would. Well, yeah, like but I don't said. need the ID for a parking ticket. You put the ticket on the windshield well, and you walk if away. If you're present, then we, we would put you down as the uh, as the operator. If nobody's present, then we would just... Well, but yeah, that's the thing. A parking ticket is for when somebody purposely parks. Like, you can see by that wheel. That wheel okay. tells you the whole story. Yeah. You know, I didn't choose to park here. This was just like, you know, I mean, shoot, your cruisers break down. Every car mm -hmm. breaks down. You can get a brand new car. And to say that I committed a crime and demand to see my ID and detain me, that is just straight unconstitutional. Like I said, I'll... I'll you contact the sheriff, uh, Rob Rodder. Have you? Yeah, have you I, I've to talked him? to Rob too. Okay. He, he knows me. All right. Well, yeah. Just Monday, he should be in. I'll make sure, but he should be in. I'll leave him a 
email. And, well, uh, see, the thing, we, we've had problems with you guys before. Okay. You know, um, I, I've committed. Okay. So I, I want to touch. did we, did, with the sheriff's office? Yeah, a lot of problems. So okay. there's one day, so there's a problem down there over where I live. Okay. Um, the apartment complex, yep. there's a minivan there, broken glass. Okay. I've had broken glass. My neighbors had broken glass. Everyone's getting their glass broken. Okay. There's crimes like trash cans getting stolen, and I okay. catch this stuff on video. I, okay. I called up Officer Duncan with the video and wanted, I'm sorry, Sheriff Duncan or Deputy Duncan. It's Deputy. Okay, I called up Deputy Duncan, and I wanted him to come take a look at this video because, okay. you know, there, there's some crime. Okay. You know, and I know my neighbors have reported this too. You know, and he was like, oh, we can't do anything on a Friday night. You got to wait till the Marengo PD opens up on Monday, which is pretty Free ridiculous. Center. Well, they don't, Free we center. aren't contracted with Marengo to cover Marengo. The Iowa County taxpayers pay us to cover the county. Yep. Marengo does yeah. not. Here's, here's my So problem. we are, we are emergency services only yep. in Marengo. So that's, you know, yep. risk of life. Well, okay, I get you. And safety. Yep. That's, that's, that's where we're at. Here's that's, my problem. Okay. There, there is a there's an innocent man in the street just just where i'm standing okay. right you know when the car comes he'd step up on the grass okay you know he, he's just standing there you guys assaulted him took him to jail okay well i don't well you probably heard about it about about uh june july afro man sound familiar yeah yeah it's unconstitutional okay you know you guys can sit here and fuck with me you can sit here and ignore crime but then you know well, well, again, somebody has this happen, you know, well, or when again, real crimes reported. This is Marengo. You have to report crimes to the Marengo Police Department, who gets paid by the Marengo citizens to cover Marengo. We get paid by the Iowa County citizens, and it's not fair if we're in Marengo covering all of Marengo's calls and they're out there left alone. I understand that. Right? So, I mean, looking at it from Duncan's point of view, it, there was no, like, you know, life emergency. So then we are emergency response only for Marengo. Yeah. Because we don't get paid. We're not under contract. Well, there's no emergency with the Afro man. Okay. Well, I... You know, standing in the street. <laughs> well, that's... You know? That's one for... Like I said, for... And I'm sure you've talked to the sheriff about it. Oh, yeah. That's one for him to... Yeah. He's he's the boss, so that's one for him to cover. Well, you know, Afro man's talking to the Institute of Justice. Okay. And, uh, you know... Yeah. You guys, uh, you know, be a lot of eyes on you. Okay. Yeah, a lot of lawyers, and I know you guys got the qualified immunity and everything, but, you know, it doesn't work 100% of the time. No? Okay. Like I said, I'll, uh... So, so what's your opinion on this? Do I really have to identify just because my car broke down? I would, say, I would say you're blocking traffic. I mean, I would... But it's a, it's not a willful. No, no. You know, it, I really didn't. I mean, you can tell I didn't choose this to happen. Yeah, no, I, I It's not yeah, like, I, I, oh, it. yeah, I'm just going to purposely make my car break down. Yeah. You know, I mean, this stuff just happens, man. And it's not like a flat tire where you can just. No, I know, and you can't, you can't help everything, on. but, you know. I, I mean, is there a state code that says I have to identify in a situation like this? Well, it's, I don't know that there's a specific situation. Well, you guys but are law enforcement, but and a you should be laws. Okay. Not feelings, not, okay. you know, I'm a cop, I do whatever I want, you know, there's so Well, at the laws. end of the day, this is going to be up to the sheriff to decide whether he felt that was just or not. And I am here to forward on your concerns to him. All right, and I will email him. He'll be in on Monday. And uh, you can, like you said, you can put in your FOIA request for the, uh, the video. And, I don't know. Would you prefer he left and I sit here? Yeah, I like that guy to get out of here. I don't like okay. his attitude. I will I will sit here until you're... Do you know how far they're coming from? I mean, it's an insurance company, man. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no. I, so I, got, it could be Cedar Rapids. Idea. It could be yeah. Iowa City. That's so I, Just so I, you I'm know, I got cash on me. If I have okay. to pay to get it okay. towed, I will. Yep. But, you know, right. it's like you pay the insurance premium every month, and yep. this is what they package into it, you know? Yep. I mean, I know right. I'm not abnormal for, yeah, no, for I, doing it this way. No, no. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll forward on your, your your concerns, okay? And I'll uh, I'll take over traffic control. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Right. What's your name and badge number? Uh, John Pfizer, forty eight seven. John Pfizer, forty eight seven. Well, you've yeah. been respectful to me, man. Right. You know, yep. appreciate right. it. I try. All right, I will. Uh, I'll move my car back up there, okay? All right, appreciate it, man. Yep. Grandma? Yeah.
I haven't seen any of the videos. I've heard. I mean, I've heard the name, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather not answer that question. That's but, all right. That's all right. Uh, yeah. No, I understand. I'm a big Constitution guy. No, no, a lot no. of people they don't they don't know you yeah. know about the Constitution. They don't know they got rights, and you know it's yeah. sad because we don't stand up for our rights. Next thing you know, we'll be living in communist China. Yeah. No. I understand where you're coming from. I it's all about checks and balances. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. So how, how much training do they do with you guys in the Constitution when they hire you? You know, well, it's been 17 years probably since I've been through the Academy. Yeah. I went in 05. So, I mean, they go over search and seizure laws and uh, different things like that. I, I don't know if they specifically go, you know, through each... Like amendment and all that yeah. stuff. Well, that, that's your oath, though, right? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. swear to that oath, but they never, I mean, not your fault if they never yeah. trained you on it. Well, but, and, then, and, then, you know. and then and then you look at the laws, and half the time the laws on the books aren't necessary, right? Because, you know, the Supreme Court has uh, has made case law that makes them. You know, yep, you're right. You're right. Yep. Not necessarily yep. as they are written in the books. So. Yep. Yeah, I read a lot of case law, yeah. state law, federal law, yeah. case law, yeah, it's DOT difficult to law. Keep, to keep up, well, obviously, if you read up, uh, difficult to keep up on all that. I mean, it's, yep. It changes, too. Oh. That's, that's the hardest thing. Yeah. Like, week I was looking week up it, some laws week week it could change. yesterday, and I went to the library, and I got the 2021 copy of the, the it's a big fucking book, you know, yeah. of Iowa State Code, and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just since... Obviously, since I started, a lot of things have changed. Hey again, everybody. John is more respectful than Fitzpatrick, but still needs to know the law. The system failed many officers when they are trained as new hires. The fact that cops don't learn the oath they swear to is a huge concern. BCNN, real news only.